hello and welcome to whoever happened to stumble upon this video or come back to my channel. Hi, my name is Dana and I'm very happy to have you here today. So this evening, evening for me, I don't know what time of day you're watching this or even what time zone you're in, but this evening, I'm going to be showing you guys my art class where we, specifically my painting class, I am taking painting one this semester in college. And I wanted to kind of show you guys like in more in depth than in my week in my life, what I do in painting class. And specifically tonight, we are finishing our still life paintings or hopefully finishing their due on Wednesday. Today's Monday. So we kind of have tomorrow if we don't finish them, but hopefully finishing them. So the clip I had just recorded was um, we meet in the beginning on Zoom and she kind of gives us a little intro on what's going on, um, what we're going to be working on. And then we're going to have, um, she posts demos of her painting that we look at and then we get started on our paintings. And at the end, we kind of post our works in progress and she talks about them. So first off, I'm going to kind of explain to you what type of painting we're doing. So we did still life painting, specifically Vanitas still lifes. So what that is, these are really old type of painting, goes back to like 1600s, maybe even earlier. And they're still life paintings that specifically represent themes like life, death, wastefulness, like just things in life that are meaningful. Um, so a lot of times you'll see like, I maybe you can insert some photos, um, pictures that have like a lot of flowers, skulls, things like that, that are kind of traditional in that style. So I will show you my set up. It's from, we to do two different paintings. Um, they're eight by eight and from two different angles. So I'll show you mine. Here is my still life from the first angle. And here's my still life from the second angle. And this right here isn't the best lighting, but here are my two paintings so far. I'm trying to like prop them up so we can get some better lighting for you guys. So here's the second angle and this is the first angle. So first off, I kind of wanted to tell you guys like the meaning behind my painting. So obviously my painting is of a plant and two crushed tin cans and how I interpreted the theme when she was saying life and death and wastefulness. The first thing that came to mind for me was global warming, which is why I wanted to pick something alive, which actually ironically it's a fake plant, but pretend that you you can't tell that from the painting i just didn't have a live plant that i could keep in my basement in the dark for four weeks so i picked a fake plant but i wanted to pick something alive like a plant and then my crush cans um one because like i think the crush it was just give a really cool dimension to the painting but also and I got some kind of commentary on this when I was talking about it with my family because they were like, oh, you should, cans, you should have picked something like plastic. But in a way, I kind of liked that I picked cans because it's something that's so easy to dispose of correctly. Like cans are so easy to recycle, yet people still don't. So my kind of take on the two paintings was about global warming and the two perspectives I chose, one, um, the first one is really centered around the cans. They're the main focus, which is kind of like, the wastefulness kind of taking over and you could choose to go down that route where like we just don't care about the planet and we just say like f it and just screw it up because who cares and you're making that choice that even if it's not a hard thing to do you don't have to go out of your way to recycle you're just not doing it because you don't care and then the second one you can still see the cans there's still a problem but the plant is the main focus where it's more focused on the plant and the life and kind of like the overcoming this like they're in the background they're behind the plant so that was my really dramatic um, idea that I had and I really like how it's coming out. Painting metallic cans has been a lot harder than I would have anticipated. Also the style of painting is something I've never done before which I also wanted to explain to you guys and I'll be inserting pictures too so you see what I mean. So we started out with our paintings and this is all oil paint which I've used before but I've never taken a painting class before and I've never used oil paints other than just painting for fun on my own. So the first thing we did was, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, I believe it was a Grazile layer. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I probably am. Sounds French, I took five years of French but I'm, I don't think Grazile is how you pronounce it. So we mixed, we don't even use black from the tube in this class, we have to mix our own black. So you do that from brown, red, and blue. So you mix our own black and then we had to make a grayscale of seven different shades from our black to pure white. And we first just painted with completely grays. 
And then after that, we did a complimentary glaze layer where you really thin out the paint with a medium and then you it's complimentary, so you're picking two colors. So I picked green and red because I have a lot of green in my painting. And those two complimentary colors were what you laid the base of for your whole painting. And then the next layer we did was called a triadic layer where we got to pick three colors. So I did the primary colors, um, red, yellow, and blue. And you can only use those. I'll insert pictures of my palettes too because I think it's really interesting to mix all of the colors you're going to use and again you thin those out a lot and lay them on top of your paints and you keep glazing to kind of get the shades of colors that you're trying to get and I did this twice because my first time I had a like a tough time with it um because I did it and I like it looked good I was able to get a lot of warm and cool colors but it didn't look photorealistic which is the point of the still life so I reached out to my professor and she helped me I have two photos from my triadic glaze layer it was all the same like class periods when I was working on it but it took me more time to get to that and then this evening is our detail layer where we're going to really finish up the paintings and add any touches and fix any colors that aren't right and any highlights and any things that are really standing out to us so that's what I'm gonna do tonight and I'm excited I'm actually a little nervous I get like painting anxiety sometimes where I'm like stressed that I'm gonna mess it up but because I really like how these are coming out so far but I definitely see places that I can improve also what I'm going to pull up that we can look at together so my professor um put in comments on the photos I had submitted for my triadic layer so I will bring you guys over so I opened my assignment and I can see she put some comments here but then if I also look on the feedback for the individual photos of my paintings I can see some things that she added in so like for this one she's talking about kind of adding in some more variety in my leaves and also in the edges because I have all hard edges so my ones in the background should have softer edges so they don't pop out as much that's what I need to work on for this one in um, that sense there's some other things I want to work on as well, but that's something I'll focus on. And then I knew this, uh, my pot's actually completely straight, but for some reason as I painted, it got curved. So she commented on that because we submitted it with photos of our still life. And then she was saying that my highlights look the same. So I should look at it in real life and see kind of what differences they have so I can accentuate that. And now I'm going to go into our assignment for this evening and check out our demos. So what we do is she posts these for us and it's just like a video. This is 12 minutes long. Welcome to my last demo. And then there's a part two, which is only three minutes long. So I'll kind of watch this to get an idea of what she did and what I should proceed with tonight. So after I watch it, I'll kind of show you guys a little bit of what I'm up to. All right, so here's my palette. I mixed, it's actually pretty small. I didn't really mix a lot of colors. Here's my mixed black and it's little testers that I had to do while I was doing it. I really didn't mix that many colors. I feel like tonally wise, I'm kind of where I need to be. I just have some other things I need to work on um, other than color. So right now I have to kind of shape up this and kind of make this warmer. Um, and then I have to soften the edges of these and I want to kind of fix up these to make them look a little more realistic. Those are just like the indents in my um, paneling. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is the mixing medium we use. We're using liquid. We also have linseed oil, but liquid is the one that slows down drying time. So you mix some of this goop. I also just made that gray as well. Um, but you mix some of that goo into your paint and it thins it out. You can glaze with it. This stuff is super toxic and actually smells disgusting, but it works great. Hello. I did not film as much as I thought I was going to. So I'm probably also going to film tomorrow when I finish my other painting because I think I think the first one is done, which is crazy. <laughs> that actually took so long. It's 7.50 now and I have to take photos so I can upload them for class, but I think it's done. It's really exciting. Um, I really love how it came out and it was really stressful, especially when I, I painted like five letters. I had to paint the letters on the cans. This is really only like the detail I added in on that on the cans I didn't really do anything else but my other ones are like super can focused so I feel like it's gonna take forever tomorrow which sucks because I have clinical and I'm not gonna get home until like five yay <laughs> all right so I'll show you guys what I did so here she is in all her glory 
I like the highlights over here kind of look like a smiley face, but like they did. Like that's really what it looks like. I'm trying to get like good lighting when I do my final photos, I'll take the lighting outside. But this is what I got. Hello guys, it is Wednesday um, at 10.20. I just had my morning class and now it is time to finish painting number two so I can photograph them and then we have critique tonight. So I'm gonna work on this guy. Um, I'll show you it when it's done. I'll take you outside when I photograph the paintings and then I'm not gonna record our critique tonight but that's our first ever critique. So I'll maybe take a little clip in the beginning and then after I'll let you guys know how it went. Here is finished painting number one. I'm trying to like get the best lighting. I feel like it could never be done. Like there's always something more that I could do. But I think this is it. I hope this lighting is like good. I don't know. Here it is. And here is number two, which I actually think I might like better than number one. I don't know. I always didn't like this one as much, but now that it's done, I think I might like it better. Let me know which one you guys like better down below. Boop, boop, boop. Hello, it is actually the next day. I realized I totally forgot to film an outro, but critique went really well. It was really cool to see everyone's finished works and I got some good feedback on my paintings. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of my paintings and which one you liked better. Comment down below what you wanna see from me next. If you wanna see more art content with my class and our projects in the future, like this video if you liked this video. Subscribe if you are not already so you can stay tuned for my giveaway. And I hope to see you in the next one. I post new videos every Sunday and Wednesday.